Modern medicine likes to tell a clean story. Ancient ignorance, then the Renaissance, then science finally wakes up. But that story skips something uncomfortable, because centuries before the Renaissance, two physicians in the Islamic world corrected some of the most dangerous medical errors in history, and the world wasn't a ready to listen. For over a thousand years, medicine obeyed authority. If Galen said it, it was repeated. If it was written in an ancient book, it was treated as truth. And one of those truths controlled life and death. Doctors believed blood passed directly through invisible pores in the wall of the heart. No one had ever seen these pores. No one could prove they existed, but everyone believed in them. That error ruled medicine for generations. The first man to seriously challenge the way medicine was practiced wasn't in Renaissance Europe. He lived in 12th century Al-Andalus. His name was Ibn Zur, known in Europe as Avanzoar. Ibn Zur was born in Seville into a family of physicians, but he quickly realized something was wrong with how doctors worked. Medicine had become theoretical. Physicians argued over texts instead of observing patients. Treatment was based on reputation, not results. Ibn Zur refused to practice that way. He believed medicine had to be proven on the body itself. Observation mattered more than reputation. Evidence mattered more than tradition. While other doctors debated, Ibn Zur watched symptoms carefully. He described diseases of the lungs, heart, and digestive system with a precision no one before him had achieved. He separated illnesses that earlier physicians had confused for centuries. He emphasized diet, hygiene, environment, and prevention, ideas that closely resemble modern clinical thinking. But his most shocking contribution came when he faced surgery. At a time when surgery was extremely dangerous, Ibn Zur refused to experiment on humans first. Instead, he tested procedures on animals to understand the risks. He famously described performing a tracheotomy on a goat to confirm that the operation could be survived. This wasn't cruelty, it was caution, a controlled experiment, a prototype. That single act places Ibn Zur centuries ahead of his time. This was experimental medicine, long before laboratories, long before clinical trials, long before modern ethics committees. His major work, Kitab al taisir became one of the most influential medical texts of the medieval world. After being translated into Latin, it was taught in European universities for generations. Yet his name slowly faded. The method survived. The credit did not. But even Ibn Zur did not confront the most dangerous medical lie of all. That took another man, another century, and a direct challenge to Galen himself.